documentary is sort of telling that story, telling the story of, of uh, Union and the coming together of the North and the South and how uh, hopefully soon, sooner than later, the fulfillment of the prophecy will mean that we have a thousand years of peace on Earth. Huh. Did you know about the prophecy? No, I did not. Yeah. I came here to meet the man who was the voice of the game that ruined my my life. Ruined your life? No, no, I'm just kidding. I, I had the original Devil May Cry 3. The, the original, yeah. The yeah. non-special edition, meaning... The very difficult one. Yes. <laughs> What's so different about the original? The original one, though, like, they made the, the uh, level, they made it... They bumped up the level. They bumped it up to make it, like, super hard. Normal. So, normal this, was hard in Japan, and then they made Dante Must Die exclusively for us insanely hard yeah. I only played the special edition I, never, I kind of missed special out special the edition they toned it back because there were so many complaints yeah, yes. because so many people were like this game is too hard mm. now the reason they made it hard at that, that day and age was that was still in that time period we still had blockbuster video and we had other video places where you could go and rent video games online or not online but uh, at the store rent them for the weekend and most people would go and rent them they'd clear them in the weekend mm. and they would never buy them uh, so they purposely own. made it difficult so oh, I have my own pe oh, I have people it. will buy the game. That was the theory that I was told by Kevin. Oh, I had Regarding about that, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. I had a, I had a theory because people said Devil May Cry 2 was too easy. That's and Capcom true. said, That's true. oh, yeah? If you want a hard game? Here you go. It was both. I think it was too easy and probably people rented it, bought it over the week. I mean, rented it and beat it over the weekend. So they actually were like, okay to increase the sales, yeah. let's make it more difficult, <laughs> which, yes and no, right? It's yeah, like, it's uh, maybe. So, but Special Edition, they toned it down. It's still a hard game. It's still, but I know, never I, beat it. <laughs> I, I never beat the game myself either. Yeah, I, I do have a question. Like, what's this picture supposed to have a picture of Chris Redfield? That's Chris Redfield. That's Redfield. So, like, wasn't that voice by Roger Craig Smith? You did a what did you did a, the, uh, I did the stunt. The stunt. Path. Okay, I did, okay. Not the stunts. I did all the motion capture for Chris Redfield since the beginning of Chris Redfield. Okay. Code Veronica, Resident Evil Five, Resident Evil Six. Code Veronica. The, the Vendetta movie. Uh, hmm? Yeah. Oh. So Kevin. Yeah. So I've been doing Chris Redfield longer than any of these characters. I do have another question. You are you a practitioner of martial arts? I am a practitioner of martial arts. That's how we got into it. Um, Sorry, the, the, you were. I saw you one time in a in a live of of live action of you were doing like Ken Masters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, was that like a parody? And Dan was uh, Dan was uh, real. Hmm. It wasn't a parody. We were. We were. Uh, I mean, it may have come across that way. Because was it a promotion? It was a promotion for the uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Okay. Uh, and that, that, now that starts yeah. Because, like, that game, there's some issues about that game. There were some issues. It, unfortunately, it didn't do as well as it, the, the concept and the idea of it, yeah. I think it's mostly about some, something in the gameplay that, that it, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. Yep. I, I agree. I'm an avid Street Fighter player. and uh, I, mean, I don't mind Street Fighter and Tekken, but... It just didn't feel, the gameplay did not feel right. No, I agree. I think uh, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, is, and a lot of people have issues with that. Yeah. I, I still have a lot of fun with it. I don't play it at that much, so I can't tell the differences. Mm. But, so, Street Fighter 4 and 5, those are my favorites. I have only, regarding about Devil May Cry 5, I only played the demo at New York Comic Con, but I have not yet played the full full game because I just didn't have the money. Get out of I, I'm sure you could probably get some secondhand uh, ones. They're, at, they're on yeah. sale for like $37. I'll probably get them from like, I don't know, like... Um, I'm sure there's some people that got extra copies now. If I now. bring, because I, I live close to here, if I bring my copies of Devil May Cry, would you mind signing them? No, no problem. And I have one question, because I do have the anime. Okay. Why did you, why did you choose Justin, uh, Justin Paz? Well, at the time, uh, so AD, ADV Films yeah. put that out. That was their last project that they did before they were going hunger, basically. They were literally, when I was shooting, when we were recording that, they were literally ripping the studio apart. Oh, my God. And every take I did, uh, especially in the first, before I realized what was happening, uh, the first few episodes, it was just one take, the first take. And they used it? And they used it. But it, it doesn't... No offense. I'm sorry. And then I would say, guys, sometimes I'd just be reading the lines. 
and then they're like, okay, next. And I'm like, no, I, that was, I was just reading it. And then I caught on what they were doing because they didn't care. They were just like, yep, yeah. next. And they just wanted the, 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 the engineer, the director, they just wanted to go home. Like there was no, there was no, it was like, this is, we're, we're, we're going to be out of a job next week. They were already looking for their next job. So like there was no, it just felt really off. So at the end when they said, how do you want to be credited? I'm like, don't put my name on this. Because I didn't know if it was going to, I thought it was going to be horrible. Did you want one of these? It turned out. Yeah, it turned out all right. Okay. I do have one more question for you. Um, how long, when were you informed that Ken was going to be in Smash Bros. Right, before you get to do the voice clip? Uh, when I got the call to do the voiceover. Was that like what, what like several months before? A few the, months before. A few months, few months before? The, yeah. Okay. I thought they did it like more than six months or so. To, yeah, it's about six months. Yeah, sounds about right. Well, anyway, I, I just wanted to meet you in general. Yeah, so, pleasure, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks.